Okay, welcome back to another episode of Carl's Scale Model Showcase. On my viewing table today, I have one of my all-time favorite GM products, the 1966 Chevrolet Malibu SS or Super Sport. And this is in 124 scale, offered by Monogram. Um, if I built this kit once, I built it a hundred times, literally. And in all kinds of different colors and styles, um, but I never get tired of it. It's just a super cool car that really depicts what the uh, 60s muscle used to look like at the drag strip, because this thing's all, uh, you know flared out and in decals and stuff like that and this guy's definitely a drag racer so anyway let's start by just saying that um again i am a truck driver i probably said it enough times that everybody knows this now um and a crane operator uh, i love semis this is what i try and showcase the most on my channel is semi trucks uh, however, they do take a, a long time for me to complete because uh, I'm very fussy and I, I got to do things, you know, a certain way and then I end up modifying a bunch of stuff. So every now and then it's good to just um, get out a kit that's a little bit more, less challenging, let's say, and um, just have some fun. And this is what, you know, as I've said for, I don't know how many times, uh, all that matters is you're, you're building models and having fun doing it your way don't uh, uh don't listen to anybody who's uh, judgmental or uh wants to pick yourself apart i mean the more mistakes the better because that's how you get good and that's how you learn how to do different things so anyways uh i won't ramble on um uh i will i do want to add one more thing though is that uh, i do i did start another channel i mentioned this in a couple of videos uh, it's called Cat Performance Group. That's cat with a K. I'm, I'm going to throw a little card in here right now. And that channel, um, I wanted to keep uh, my real car hobby um, separate from the modeling. Um, so that's why I created that channel. So feel free to take a look. Um, once again, as always, I sincerely appreciate all the likes, compliments, and especially uh, subscribers. You, you are the viewers uh, who spend time to take a look at my stuff, and I'm, I'm very grateful for that and humbled. Um, and that's the, that is the honest truth. So anyways, back to the fun stuff. So um, I would just love to take a crack at this thing um it's a uh it's a classic kit uh, uh the real car i would um i would just uh, drive it until i broke it uh, anyways <laughs> so let's talk about the car for a second um you know the the standard car was the 66 um uh, or not the standard car, but the, the most popular car was the, the, the Chevy Chevelle SS, the Super Sport, the 138 cars. Now, this is a Malibu SS. To me, that just makes it 10 times cooler because not as common. Uh, I don't think I never ran the numbers or on, on anything like this. And uh, unfortunately, I've never owned a 66 uh, Chevelle, whether it be a, a six-cylinder Malibu or, uh, you know, 138, 396 car. I, myself, would opt for the Malibu and hot rod the absolute, you know, what out of it and uh, not worry about this uh, numbers matching high value stuff. I'd throw all my money into uh, the power plant and the drivetrain. So anyway, that being said, the decals, let's talk about those. <clears throat> now, these are from Slicks, Slicks decals. That's Slicks with two X's. And for those of you who are not familiar with uh, Slicks's uh, products, um, they are decal champions or decal champions, however you want to say it. But uh, they make a plethora of decals 
um, for all kinds of race cars, stock cars. They do some resin stuff, I believe. And like I said, flat out, they're just they're just awesome. So I was going through the web one day and I was like getting ready to build this car. And I was going to do it in a couple of different schemes and whatnot. And what I'm trying to do, and, and you'll see in some more upcoming videos, is I'm trying to put a, a drag theme together. Um, all in 124 scale and and if they got straight axles all the better um, <laughs> and the nose sits up a little bit high I just I think it just looks so badass and um, so this guy this guy was an actual drag racer Kelly Chadwick uh, I believe he was based out of Texas I didn't do a whole bunch bunch of web research um, obviously a Chevy guy because uh, you know 427 there and um, the pictures that came with the slicks decal sheet I ordered showed these decals on a uh, probably around a 65 ish uh, Chevy 2 Nova or Chevy twice whatever you want to call it but um, altered wheelbase straight axle super cool stuff and um, I've got a Chevy 2 that I plan on building up and it is it just so happens to be a straight axle car <clears throat> a model uh, but uh, I you know I wanted to do something different with the Chevelle so uh, I'm glad I did uh, I think Kelly Chadwick ran a little bit more of a red color this is kind of a burgundy I guess it's got a it's got a metallic to it um, it's an actual true automotive paint and um, all we did, believe it or not, we still modified, <laughs> me, uh, still modified, but uh, all I did was I, I, instead of the side pipes, I just made a collector and it's uh, open. We'll get to that in a second here. And then the, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, <clears throat> see here, there we go. M&H Race Master wheels or tires. Um, I got those from around two kit and uh, or not a kit but um, they came in a tire pack or whatever and uh, I just thought they were super cool they fit the wheel well might be a bit tight in real life who knows it may have rubbed a little bit but uh, at the time I didn't really I wasn't really too concerned about it um, I just uh, wanted to go with it so I'm gonna try and get a shot in the interior here let's move the car over a bit and see if we can see we got the uh, Hearst T-handle yeah, let's see here we got the Hearst T-handle uh, four-speed or a shifter um, uh, this guy's probably around a Muncie in there uh, who knows maybe even M22 um, it's got the fire extinguisher black bucket seat pretty much stock everything stock there the uh, the collectors um, I just took some uh, aluminum tubing uh, found the right diameter uh, butted them up on the uh, ends and uh, made a collector extension and then blacked out the inside so uh, we did go with the um, I just love the wheels the wheels are being a car guy I know for a fact that they are modeled after the uh, uh, centerline brand auto drags which is the uh, the center line that that uh, or the uh, the yeah the center line wheel that, that um, the center line wheel company offered and they call them auto drags I had a set on my uh, 65 Biscayne so they fit good with the rear slicks and of course the, the tires up front uh, needed a little bit of modifying but uh, they still worked so um, it's got the uh, the old school mailbox hood scoop and it's got the really nice grill I think 66 Chevelles, Malibus, whatever. I think they were just uh, a very good looking car. Um, you know, I detailed up the hood pins a little bit and that's coming up here in a second for the for, for that feature. Um, just hang on a second here. I'm gonna... Yeah, so on the roof there, it says Texas fastest Chevy now the other decal I botched so I couldn't get one on the driver's side but I didn't want to go without any so I just put one on the shotgun side and um, it says the engineering company there is out of Atlanta but 
I'll be honest with you, I have no idea where this man raced out of, but he was probably just an absolute pleasure to watch. Now, let's go with the, the best thing, in my opinion, about this kit by far is the flip front end. And the thing about the flip front end on this car is that, just hang on a second, I'm going to get my... I'm going to get my little stand here so I can um, hold the camera. Sorry about that. Now, the best thing is that it's a flip front end, but they cut it horizontally about halfway up the rear part of the fender. And I think that's super cool. If I was going to do a flip front end on a 66 Chevelle or actually any other car, and build like a like a straight axle gasser style um that's exactly what i would do with mine so and as i just kind of hold on to it i'm just going to flip that forward and yeah <laughs> the 427 big block chevy with tunnel ram dual four barrels uh, a couple of cool little shortened velocity stack air cleaner type of deals um, and yeah uh, it'd be easier if I just move the car I think so you can see there I got the Chevy orange on the block um, got that classic white for the headers did the shocks in yellow uh, people that have built this car would realize that this section here that's open um, that's usually closed off so what I did with mine was I cut mine out so you could see the engine more and then in order for what what those um, plates in there do as well is they stop the uh, the frame that uh, front frame rail from going too far into the firewall it's it's like a, it acts as a stop so everything squares up and lines up so before I cut them off I measured where it should fit properly and then I had to make a jig to hold everything in place so as the glue dried it would hold it where everything was square and it's just you know it it wasn't rocket science it was just a little bit of time consuming and just to have the foresight to do that so you're not trying to put those you know it, it would just be a the regular tube going in it would stop wherever it, it decided to stop so anyways if that makes sense great um we see the firewall here back in the day they used to do some of the stickers on the fire or the decals and that on the firewall uh did a little bit of paint de detail on the electronic components and whatnot um just gonna roll it around again here and yeah just paint detail on the motor i blacked out the valve covers because it got the cool ss427 um on the rib valve covers there so black that out i did that with the uh with the uh tamiya black wash and that seemed to uh there we go there's a good shot of it <clears throat> that seemed to work out pretty good so like i said i didn't get overly uh crazy with the details and stuff um you know my my glass is a little clouded in here and stuff like that it's not glue i think it's just from handling it too much this is an older kit. This is an actual monogram kit from the 90s. Um, it had the white background with the uh, three-quarter shot of the car, the car in black with the uh, black flame decals, which were not the best flame decals. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So uh, anyways, um, bare metal foil trim around the window and then put the wipers on there as well like uh, trim those out with the foil i could have blacked out the blades and stuff but like i say sometimes you just want to you know build something and just have a have a good time doing it and not worry too much about getting too crazy with the details the the, the nose fits on there pretty good it uh you know it, it's a good fit um it's too bad i can't really get a it's a little bit better shot maybe the interior you can see that t-handle um you know back in the day a guy could have built something up like this took it to the racetrack and um you know if he was a good enough driver he probably could have he probably could have turned in a high 10 or a low 11 
on actual uh, drag slicks and uh, just power shifting that thing. I mean, I get uh, I, I get a little bit of an increased heart rate thinking about it because I like to drive my stuff pretty hard, and um, yeah, it just it would have been a real it would have been a real fun time. And this is more of a mid-sized car versus my big Biscayne. So, um, anyways, through some uh, you know he's been to a few tracks, done some uh, racing around his his territory or whatever, uh, foiled out the back window there the back window trim um, I really like that paint color like I said it's an actual automotive paint so it um, it, it really shows it really shows up the uh, it really shows up quite nice uh, we did a little bit of there, stop there we go we did a little bit of a uh, blackout job on the back it's it's not the best detail or whatever but you can still see where it says Chevelle and whatnot yeah, it's a Chevelle SS. I think the Malibu SS's SS's did look like that. Um, either or, that's what came with the kit, so that's what we went with. I'm just gonna plop her down here, back on the rubber, and like I said, instead of moving the camera, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna give her kind of a a roll over here, see what we can get in there. So there. That's not too bad there. So there we got the um, from from my what I can figure out there. He's running a big Dana 60. Um, we've done that in like a cast coat iron. Uh, kept the chrome cover on the back. Um, you know we didn't we didn't really get too detailed under there. We we put in the um, uh, the four link and whatnot with the uh, ladder bars, little ladder bars. I, I like putting the, the yellow drive shaft in. Uh, it's just a cool contrast. Uh, most race cars would be light colored on the bottom so they can see if they're getting any damages or, or leaks or anything like that. Um, you can even see where I missed cutting off the, uh, the uh, tree. This came with a little tree for some reason on the rocker panel. Obviously, I missed that. So, like I said, nobody's perfect, but for the most part, it's uh, you know, it, it it looks pretty cool. It's got the uh, it's got the uh, those are actual hollow. That's like uh, aluminum tubing. The little collectors in there, uh, chrome bell housing, uh, big oil pan, and then the uh, the four speed transmission. Um, and now that I'm looking at it, it looks like my drive shaft is uh, not onto the uh, back of the transmission there. So I don't know what happened there. We'll have to look into that. But anyways, this is um, an update for everyone. So we can get some kind of a some kind of an update to the channel. And it's not a big rig, but trust me. We've got more big rigs coming, and once again, I appreciate all the views, all the compliments, all the likes, and um, I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep on building those models.